So, I thought I would do a movie review on Cars 3. Now, as you know, I used to, I did a movie review starting from Inside Out a few weeks ago and did about seven videos. I did Inside Out, Frozen, Frozen 2, Zootopia, Monsters University, and a couple of uh, Big Hero 6 and one other one. And anyway, then I stopped doing that. But I watched... Last night I watched Cars 3, which this review is, will be about. The previous night was Cars 2, and the night before that, Cars 1. So I have I have watched Cars 1 and 2 years ago. You know, Cars 2, I watched it, like, probably within a few months of it coming out, and haven't seen it since. In Cars 1, I don't think I've seen it post-Cars 2, which was years ago. And I've never seen Cars 3. So I watched it at last night, right? And I actually came away feeling sad. Which is, like, wait, what? Like, you know, this is a Pixar movie. This is a, you know, Disney movie. This is a G-rated movie. How you come away, come away sad? And I'll tell you why. And that's partly partly why I'm actually doing this. And this is that, A, it probably wasn't, as like with Inside Out, it probably wasn't supposed to make me feel that way. And, B, it's sort of the most sort of, it was, it was an emotional movie, in a sense. Like, I don't know, it's way more emotional connection you know, than other movies. Like, for example, Big Hero 6. I didn't, I didn't really connect. I didn't connect. I didn't connect with any of the characters and that. I didn't feel any emotion when watching it, really. You know, I enjoyed it. But it was, you know, with this, I actually could really relate to the characters. And it's kind of sad, because then tonight I'm going to go on to Toy Story and that. But it's like, man, I've just been building this up. Like, Cars and Cars 2 and Cars 3. Like, this has been, like... This has been going awesome in that, and we're just, you know, we're, I'm just starting to get, like, I really know them now, this is wonderful, and it's like, oh, wait, it's only a three, three movie series, and that's it, you know, we have to move on now, it's like, I'm just, I was loving this, you know, it's like, yeah, anyway, love the, the Cars 1 soundtrack, absolutely love it, absolutely love it, and Cars 1, the movie, was just brilliant, it was absolutely astounding from, all, all, all around. Everyone, well, basically, reviews and all that, loved it now. Cars 2, it's really weird, because if you read, like, the comments on YouTube videos and that, and people saying, like, this, you know, on the Cars 3 trailer, oh, this should have been the real Cars 2 and that, and if you look at the reviews and that on, Wiki on the Wikipedia about Metacritic and stuff like that, Cars 2 got really bad reviews in that, which to me was really surprising. Like, I loved it. I thought it was great. I thought the storyline was great. I thought it was just an all-round brilliant movie in that. I can see how, yes, it didn't... Uh, upon re I wouldn't have even, like, picked it from the... Just watched the movie. I just thought it was a fantastic movie. I thought one was better. But at the same time, number two was, like, pretty good. Like, I don't know. And so I was very shocked that so many people didn't see it that way. Uh, so, yeah. But, like, I can see, like, reading all the, the, the criticism and that, I can see, yeah... Yeah, it wasn't as true to the sort of the car's racing story and that. You know, it did deviate to the sort of the spy kind of thing and that. And, you know, is is more focused on Mater and that. But I still think it was a wonderful movie and that. I still think, you know, it it was a great job and all that. So I was very surprised to read, you know, how much, you know, the criticism on it and that. Nothing wrong with criticism and nothing wrong with thinking that about Cars 2. I was just personally surprised because I thought it was just wonderful Cars 2 as well. I didn't, like, as in, I, like, as well as number one in that. So I was a bit surprised there. But anyway, I watched Cars 3 in that and it was really interesting. It was, it was, I don't know, it, it wasn't sort of, it wasn't sort of different or unexpected. Like, sometimes I watch in the next one in a series and like, oh, that was totally different what I expected in that. I loved it. It was, it was familiar, you know. It wasn't like sort of just a radically different sort of movie or anything like that. It just stuck with it. It was just like, as like, I felt Cars 2 stuck with Cars 1 and Cars 3 stuck with the other two in that. It was just sort of like a nice transition into a familiar familiarity as you know tom scott puts it but you know it's not just all random you know it's, it's familiarity but it, it's something different in that which i really liked but yeah so anyway I, yeah so i i don't know if i'll go over the story plot or whatnot but and i'll just base i'll just do the review based on the fact that you've already watched it but if you've already been watching this for four minutes in the uh, you probably anyway uh yeah so i thought yeah so basically what happened was the Lightning McQueen crashed 
and the, and the race and that and and you know which was you know I guess kind of to be expected. Well, and I wasn't expecting. I didn't know. I didn't have any expectations for the movie and that. I didn't sort of think. I bet this will happen. I just watched it and, and oh yep, and that you know see where it's, and it's weird because you know knowing how they can keep rewriting the script and it could have been so many different movies in that. But anyway, yeah. So you know he crashed in that and and went out in that, which it was like oh. But yeah, he was like. He was sort of, you know, not, you know, as fast in that, and, you know, and, and he was sort of on the back foot in that, and it was sort of like, and then I just, I, you know, I didn't sort of, it was just making me sort of uncomfortable, and, the, you know, because the, the sponsor, you know, the new sponsor he had, you know, the second I sort of saw him, I'm like, I reckon this is going to be a bad kind of character, and then it, it was so quick in the movie, and, like, the dude's, like, like, already, like, if you don't win the next race, you're done. It's like, what? Like, it just felt, like, nasty. It was like, what? Like, what? Like, this is the best racer in the world. And, like, none of the other racers even paid more attention to to Lightning McQueen, you know? And it was sort of just, like, I don't know. It was just, like, you know, that, I don't know. It's like, this is the best racer. And they're just, like, just, just like, oh, nothing special about him. I was like, there is. He's just won all the Piston Cups in there. Why? You know, like... And he was not only t- treating like lightning, he was treating it less than the other ones. But it's like the whole point is like this is your best race. He's won all the previous ones, and sort of, I know it almost seemed like the other people weren't as sort of like wow, you know, about him as they should be in that. And it was sort of just you know, uh, you know, he was he still had it, which is a little bit annoying. It's like come on, lightning, you know, it's a little bit of sort of arrogance in that. You know, it's like I I thought he should have done the the trial, you know, like, like, got more involved, and, you know, rather than just be, like, not this lame, sort of, like, shake up those ancient joints, <laughs> you know, like, sort of, he should have just given it a go, I mean, I felt like he was just, sort of, just that, that mindset of, I'm too good for this, I, I didn't think that did him any good in that, nevertheless, I just thought it was, I don't know, it was just a shame that then he had the accident on the thing that just smashed into the thing, and that was just unfortunate, which was, yeah, it was it was sort of a mix of their faults in the sense that, like, he was arrogant for not just, just do it, just, I mean, uh, yeah, it doesn't seem like the best thing, but you want to win the race, just join in, you know, but then they were just, like, really sort of, I don't know, just, like, just treating him really low, and I thought there could have been a middle ground, rather than sort of just treat him like, just, like, an absolute, like, he knows absolutely nothing, you know, but also not just, like, just immediately go straight to the thing, like, it could have been sort of a middle ground, I felt, rather than what ended up happening in that, and then he wrote the thing, but then for the guy to just say, like, unless you win the next race, you're, like, well, he didn't even, he wasn't even gonna say that, he was just gonna make him retire, it's like, what? Like, you can't just do that? And then, uh, and then it was just, like, sort of, and then he just, like, right from quite early in the movie, it's like, if Lightning McQueen loses the race, you know, he's gonna be out in that, and then, and then it looks like he was gonna lose the race, because, you know, they're saying, like, how Storm, you know, has, is getting really fast and that, and it was just, it, it was making me, like, like, when I saw, like, in the final race, when I saw the racetrack, I was actually nervous, because, which shows how well the movie was made, like, I felt I was Lightning McQueen, I'm like, dude, you gotta win this, and they're like, no, no, don't worry, don't worry, of course the, of course it's gonna be, like, the story's gonna be written that he wins and whatnot, you know, it's like, I don't even, I don't, I shouldn't be getting worried, I, like, I was literally getting nervous, like, as if I'm gonna be in this race, it's like, dude, 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 but I mean, that's a cool thing, that, 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 like, they grabbed, like, they connected me that much with the Lightning, I'm like, I felt like I was literally having to race now, but, but, circle back to, like, the thing, and it's like, for the whole movie, it was just sort of, like, this frustrating, because it's like, it's against the time, you know, it's, 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 ru- they're running out of time, he doesn't really know, you know, and, and all you just keep hearing is Storm's getting faster, Storm's getting faster, Storm's getting faster, Lightning doesn't appear to be moving, so it's almost just like, just making me sort of more and more and more anxious, just like, ah, like, this is, oh, this is not comfortable, and then he was, he was sort of restless about it, he wasn't, he didn't have a friendly vibe to him, which, uh, which didn't help because of the time pressure, but then he sort of was just, you know, getting grumpy at people and just in sort of a frustrated move, rather, uh, frustrated mood rather than the sort of the happy lightning, you know, kind of like, you know, he was just sort of in a frustrated mood, sort of the whole thing, and it was sort of like, he was on the back benches the whole movie, and it's like, like, it was just as if he's probably going to lose this, and that was just the whole, the whole, like, half, like, the, the whole half movie of the start, it was just, well, just most of the movie was just, he's probably gonna lose, he's probably gonna lose, he's probably gonna lose, he was in a frustrated mode, and then, like, every time, like, you know, and I could feel his frustration, like, you know, when he, you know, in that stupid demolition derby and that, I'm just like, like, you know, because I was, like, I was, like, almost as annoyed as, as Lightning, and which shows they've done a great job with the movie and that, which is very rare for me to actually connect with the characters in that, and I was like, this is just so frustrating, just he needs to train, you know, like, this is stupid demolition derby thing, and that, which, 
it, it, in a sense, almost harmed my enjoyment of the film. Because rather than just sort of appreciating the incredible graphics and detail that went into the Demolition Derby, I just always had this, like, this constant frustration, like, come on, finish the scene already. Quickly, finish, 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 finish. Get him out of there. I, you know, I, I need him to start actually properly training, you know, which I think was then worked against it. And the, for me, again, I probably take this movie differently to most people in that so but yeah but it's like come on just finish the derby like you know it's just it, it then worked against it because rather than me just fully appreciating it and think this is hilarious you know as like as if major had taken there and they're just having fun in that but there was no time pressure then it would be like oh this is great you know but like it was just like concerning and, and especially the race cars and it's gonna wreck the it was like, yeah and i thought like in the <laughs> demolition derby right if there's one in real life right the cars just get smashed but you know, the driver's okay the cars are the, you know, the cars are the people. What happens to them? Do they just die if they, if they go out in the demolition derby? Like, what happens? Like, they're cars. Why would a car gonna go on a demolition derby? Anyway, uh, so yeah. And then he finished that and that and then had the race. And then there was, and then there was the scene, which made me, it was, I connected with both of them at once. You know, when Cruz, the trainer, was gonna leave in that. And... Uh, it was, that was, that was a really sort of, that was like a powerful scene, like, you know, there was the, there was the double good, there was the two good quotes that I thought, I thought were really, really good, and one of them was like, the, don't be afraid, don't be afraid of failure, like, be afraid of, of not taking the opportunity or something like that, you know, I thought that was a good one, and then, and then the one that was, here we go, what was it, what was it, it was, there we go, dream small or don't dream at all, and it was like, Oof, like that hit hard in a sense, in a sense, because I don't know, it was sort of like, it was like, I don't know, like for example, for me, I've always dreamt big, like in that, I've never sort of, you know, and I was never taught to dream small in a sense, which then can, it's good and bad, like in the sense, like it's good that, that then, because if you're just taught, you know, dream small or not at all, then like, you wouldn't have, you know, a, I, well, I guess it's a balance, like, you can, it totally depends on the person, like, any, but the people that are taught that can have problems, and people that are taught the opposite can have problems, because if, for example, you're taught dream big, and that, and you do dream big, and you fail, that can, that, for some people, it's fine, but other people, that's massively, you know, hurtful in that, if you're taught to dream, you know, you know, small or not at all, then, like, then you're, like, it's, then, I mean, your expectations are high, so you sort of just succeed that, you know, but then that could, and and for some people that's good because they dream small, and then they, you know, it's just that is that you know, and then what they do is small, and that, and then they're happy and content in that. But also that then harms some people in the sense that if you're just always told dream small or not at all, and they otherwise would have dreamed big, then that's harmful in that. So it was sort of like there we go. Like I thought it, it was it really caught my attention that quote. I was like, oof, like that's that's a hard hitting statement. Like it's like I don't know. It's sort of like. To me, it was almost as, it was like as preposterous as it was, there we go, sad in a sense, that statement, in a sense like, like it's, it's like, so, such a ridiculous concept, like if, if, you know, like everyone, you know, if you taught someone, you know, like everyone growing up, you know, dream small or not at all, like that's just sad, like, it's like, why would you tell someone that, you know, you know, like, I mean, that, you know, that would just stop people, you know, but, yeah, I mean, again, if you tell them to dream big and, and they do and then don't succeed, that can also... But, yeah, I don't know. It was sort of just like a... It was To me, it seemed like a, a, a crazy thing to teach someone. Yet, at the same time, that is the reality of some people get taught that all their life and that. And sometimes to, to their great detriment as a result of that. But, anyway, that was just sort of a byproduct of that. that. But, anyway, in that scene, then there was there was an exchange of that. And I totally resonated with, with both of them and... Especially with Cruz, when, you know, like, you know, and he's like, uh, like, because she was like, you know, well, what, what was it like your, your, you know, were, were you scared at your first race? And then, and then he was like, it never really occurred to me that I couldn't do it. And then she was like, I wish I could feel like, you know, I wish I could feel like that. And it was like, oh man, that's so true. That is so true. Like, I, like, in that moment, I totally related to Cruz. Like, yeah, like, you know, there's, there's some people that just, just have it. They just know it. There's just, you know, but it's like, I wish I could be like that. I wish, you know, like, I, that was a very, like, I was like, yes, there we go. Yes. And I did love her enthusiasm with all the training at the start. I was just like, I thought that was great. But yeah, so I, I relate to her in that. Uh, but yeah, I related, you know, to the, to the, you know, Lightning McQueen in that, in the sense that they're, they're just constantly telling him he's getting, you know, old in that, and, and you know, he, he's slowing down in that, and I sort of connected to that, which is kind of sad in a sense because I'm, I'm really young, but at the same time, I genuinely, it's like, 
that's you know that's going to be me and I read after afterwards how you know you know that's how athletes think and that's kind of how they base it off in that you know, which is sad but it's true the thing is I've never got good enough at something that I'm then concerned that someone will then beat me at it like like because I've never really got yeah I've never really got good enough at anything like even I guess of all things, like, well, no, I don't know, but Battlelands. I got pretty good at Battlelands in that, but even when I got good at Battlelands, I could have got way, I, mean, I could have got better at it. Like, I just, you know, I spent a lot of time on it, but if I'd spent twice as much time, I could have got even better at it than that. But, you know, even when I was good at Battlelands, I wasn't like, oh no, a young person's gonna come through and beat me in that. Like, hey, yeah, there was people that were younger than me that were better than me, but... It, it wasn't. It wasn't the concern that oh no, I'm going to get too old at this Battlelands that soon I won't be very good at it and that that wasn't really the, my concern or whatnot. Like, but I have thought oh yeah, one day I'll get older and not be as good at these games and reflexes won't be as fast in that. But never sort of, that's never been sort of a concern for me that I'll sort of because of the fact that I've never got good enough at something. But that's I that's just uh, not every single area. There will be exceptions, but generally most things with reflexes and speed and that eventually there are going to be faster people that, that come, and that's a really sad moment slash reality in that. Uh, I don't know, it just, it is sort of, yeah. Yeah, because, and, and they say on the Wikipedia, like, athletes never never think that, they can't imagine a life without, you know, being, you know, that fast. Yeah, yeah so, uh, yeah. It's, yeah, it's, cause, yeah, eventually it's, it's, it's going to happen in that, and it's just sort of like, oh, man, that's, that's crazy. But, yeah, it was, yeah, so I... But I did resonate with that. I did resonate with that as they're sort of, you know, saying, you know, he was, you know, getting older, he was getting slower and that. And then the statement about how... The, oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Another thing I want to mention. I did... Uh, in, it, when seeing them, I did feel a little bit like a Luddite in opposing it. Because one one thing I'm torn, it's like, well, we've been made to love, you know, Lightning McQueen. He's the star. He's the one we want to win in that. And I do want him to win in that. But then it's like, well... These dudes are faster. These dudes are, you know, they've got better, more efficient speed systems than that. So, but that was just a very minor thing. It was my, I was heavily outweighed in favor of Lightning for all the other reasons. But I did have a tiny bit, it was like, oh, I guess I'm a little bit of a Luddite for not wanting the newer ones to win. Like, if I'd always wanted, you know, Doc Hudson, the old, you know, Hornet to always win, you know, yeah. But anyway, uh, so yeah. Yeah, so that, so, but yeah, but then they said the quote about how, you know, you might not be faster than him, but you can be smarter than him, which, in a sense, is, a, it's, I see it as a defeat, I see that as a defeat, because ultimately, you're not better than him, you're not faster than him, yes, you are smarter than him, but that's limited, as soon as you've used it, you know, for, you know, for, it, it will only be a matter of time before they catch up, and they, they learn the, those few smarts you do have, that little edge you do have, and those few tricks, ultimately, they are better as a race car, it's only this sort of small, sort of, very small bubble of knowledge that you temporarily hold for, like, one race, and then as soon as you've done those tricks and used those tricks, they'll see it, and next year they'll be better than you, so it's sort of like the last kind of chance to use that smarts against speed, like, you know, it, you know, it's, it, it's not gonna last, it's, it's, it's kind of like a defeat, it's like, hey, you've got this one thing that will work once, once, because they don't know it this time, as soon as you've used it, they'll know it, and as soon as they know it, they have the speed, and then they can use it against you, and you can never win again, so, in a sense, that felt like a, like a defeating statement, because, you know, he was going to lose in that, and the only reason he was going to win was because he was smarter, not because he was faster in that, and ultimately, in the long run, as, as the gap between, you know, like, the, the knowledge of the smarts and that, you know, becomes, you know, smaller and smaller and smaller, everyone knows the same stuff, eventually, then, yeah, the, the, the faster one will win, even though that will work one off one time in that, and it was sort of, sort of just sad, and, and yes, it is nice, the story, you know, the storyline about how Doc became, a trainer and a coach and was you know I and it was I, I do love the coach in that I thought they were very motivational in that but like I you know I think it's cool but it's not the same as racing it's cool it's a, a nice alternative but it's not the same it's not the same and yes it is a nice transition to move into after you've a race car and that but it's like that's not the same you can't it's not like oh I lost the race well now it's like now we move on to being a a, a trainer or whatnot I mean that yeah in the in the long run but it, it just felt too soon to just do that right now and so anyway they then you know so after all this build up and that 
here goes the race in that. So off they go, and that, I, I feel like I've missed stuff in that, but I've covered the, the main points in that. But I certainly resonated with, you know, the fact he's getting older, he's getting slower in that, and I, I felt that in me, which is kind of strange because I'm really young in that, but I know that it will be true. It, it may not be true today, it may not be true in a year, even in 10 years, it will, in 10 years it probably will start to become true. It depends on what in that, but yeah, in 10 years it will start to become true in different areas of my life. I will start, you know, like, uh, you know, I'm already, you know, aging, you know, my body's already deteriorating, you know, and like... Well, obviously not the lung thing. That's just, like, just happens and it'll be back in that. But as in, you know, my joints are getting older and that. And I guess there is a point where you sort of do, like, I guess with speed you might get slightly faster, like, as I get slightly older and that. But I've sort of kind of reached the point. You, you reach just so early in life and it's just downhill. It's just sad. But I, I already, because it's like, I know it, I know that I know it's true. And it's sort of like, it's sort of, that's the main message I took from it. It's like, no, you're, you're right. You know, it's like, you didn't need to remind me of that. In this kid's Disney movie that, you know, I'm getting old already. It's, it's, I don't know. It's, it's sad. Cause it feels like, yeah, I'm, I felt like, you know, I relate to Lightning McQueen and it's like, Lightning McQueen is deteriorating. It's like, oh yeah, yes, that's sad. But anyway, so then they had the race in that. You know, and he was doing well, you know, and he was slowly climbing positions that. But again, it was like, you know, Storm's going to win in that. And then they did the thing where they swapped out for Cruz in that, which I'm torn about. Like, as in, and, the, and then she won, and then it was kind of a combined win in that. So, on one hand, I thought that was a really cool plot twist. I think it was, like, so cool, like, how they then gave her the opportunity in that, and then she won in that. But ultimately, I, I was just disappointed. I just, like... The whole point of this movie was that he overcomes Storm. If even just for the last time, because of the statement that, yes, you may be smarter than him, but he's faster than you, and then the logic that follows, eventually the smarts they'll pick up and then win you. But it's like, Lightning, like, no. Like, it was, it just felt like, you know, this was, this was when that he was going to finally beat Storm, you know, and that. But ultimately it, it proved, no, he can't beat Storm. It was like, you know, He's not good enough. He's too old already. He's too worn already in that. At the end, they didn't. He needed to mention, "Oh yeah, I'm not done with racing in that." But it's like, but then you could have just won the race. I mean, like, it's not going to get easier. It's just going to keep getting harder and harder and harder in the future. And if you couldn't have won the race against Storm, then it seems like he's already just done. It's like I don't know. It just felt so sad. Like the whole movie, I was already sort of just nervous and anxious. Like, oh no, he's already looks like he's going to lose. Looks like he's going to lose. Looks like he's going to lose. And in the end, he could he, he couldn't win it. He couldn't win it. He'd already he had already become too old and too slow and couldn't do it. And it was like that's just like deflating. Like that was just so sad. Like it, you know, the, the whole movie was propped that he would like. It, it, I'd already been sort of like just sad at how it had gone the whole movie, and he was just in a frustrated mood and trying to train. And this was his final opportunity in that. And then he just, he couldn't do it. It's like, what? Like, you just, you, you'd, you'd just set this movie up so he overcomes Storm. And he failed. Like, it's just sad. Like, I do think it was a cool twist that, you know, they, they had Cruz win it in that. But I, I just, that, I just, I, I didn't think that was a great time to do it. Like, I feel like maybe if they'd had two races and, like, you know, that, 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 done that and then still would want another one and then for the final it was like I don't know but you can't just like no the whole movie was set that he had to win it and it just at the end just felt like totally deflated like this like I don't know it just felt sad like it just proved that everything about him was right he is too old he is too slow he's already redundant in that and it's sort of like but they didn't, they didn't, pro you know, he himself fully believed he was you know young in that he looked fully young and healthy and fit like I consider myself to be, and it's like, he's done. He's already too old without realizing it. It's like, and so I sort of take the message, it's like, okay, I'm actually older, faster than I'll think I'm faster, you know, I'm actually already in that lightning request. And look at that, I got the red jersey on. Oh, what, what are you, what are you, oh, there are two and two makes four. I mean, honestly, I don't know, I just, it just felt sad. It was like, he, he couldn't do it. He failed. That was it. It was just a, it was sort of a movie of uh, Lightning McQueen's failure. He couldn't do it. And I just, I don't know, I just felt that it's sad. Like, again, I thought it was a cool twist. You know, how then, you know, she won in that, you know. But, I don't know, it just, it just, 
I don't know, it's just, it's just, it's just like, no, he had, that was the whole thing, he had to overcome it, he had to win it, after all that training, this was his last chance, you know, not just necessary, not, and even, it could have been his last race, I wouldn't have cared if it was his last race, but he needed to win the final race, like, you can't just, he just did it like halfway through when he switched out, he's like, you know, basically, I can't win, it's like, you can't, no, that's not, no, this is, you can't just do that, like, you have to win this, so, I don't know, I just sort of went away from the movie sort of feeling sad, like, he was supposed to win, and, you know, like, he, you know, that, that, you know, I connected to him, and I felt like I was, you know, him in that, and then he just, admit, it was sort of like he just accepted, he's like, I'm done, I, I, I'm, I'm too old, I'm too slow, I can't do it anymore, and it's like, no, no, and it's like, sort of, I don't know, it's just like, yeah, I just sort of went away from the movie, you know, feeling like, oh, <laughs> uh, you know, I felt like I'm already in the decline, I don't know, I don't know, I think, you know, it was, I don't know, can, can they say it was a great movie in that, like, it was totally with the Cars theme, you know, you know, it was just, it fitted in, you know, all the characters were in character, all the scenes were, were wonderfully done in that, you know, and it's not like I didn't, I don't know, it's almost like, I, it's not like I didn't like the storyline, but it just, it just, well, I mean, it's talk about a plot twist to unexpected ending, like, I mean, I don't know, it just made me feel sad. I don't think it was supposed to do that, but that's how it made me feel. Like, I went away feeling sad after, like, I wasn't, like, just, like, crying after it, but I was like, that's not very, that's not very encouraging, that's not very motivational, that, just, like, it admit, he just failed, he just lost, that's it, it was like, I don't know, they better do a Cards 4, but, I don't know, I don't know, I, it just, it was so, it was so strange, like, you know, and it was, it was like the first movie that I really, sort of, sort of like, was kind of with Inside Out, but, so with this one, I actually, I, I sort of, I would say even more so than Inside Out, I actually emotionally connected to the characters in that, which I don't often do in movies in that, and then, like, to, Oh, the, the one occasion I actually connect with one of them is just sort of like a, oh, okay, that's, yeah, okay, they, they failed. I don't, I don't know, I don't know, it just, it was just so surprising, like, how could he lose? Like, he was supposed to win that, that was the whole movie it set him up to win, and he needed to win! I mean, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I'm just sort of so shocked and in disbelief about sort of how it sort of ended in that, it just it sort of made me sad that it's just sort of, I don't know, I don't know, that's why I just sort of like, okay, well, that was very, very strange, you know, and so I thought, like, I, I thought that, uh, who would have thought I'd talk about it for 30 minutes, or well, 27, but yeah, it just, I don't know, I was just surprised at how it ended, and it, again, I don't think I took it the right way, because, yeah, it just made me sad that he didn't win, but, yeah, he was just, he had, they were right about him the whole time. The whole movie was right. All the cars were like, you're too old, you're too slow, Lightning. They were right. They were right. <laughs> you know, all the profit, you know, even the statement, you know, you maybe, you know, you're not as fast as him, but you're smarter than, than him. Didn't, well, he didn't, he, Lightning didn't really even use the smarts. Yeah, he did use the gap thing, but he didn't do the jump himself over the, you know, it, did, it didn't. He wasn't. He wasn't even that. Like, I mean, even that, I still see as sort of like a, a last final resort statement, which is still ultimately a defeat, ultimately a sad one, you wouldn't, that, that's like, the, that means you have one more chance, to, that's like, you have one chance to win, you have one chance to win, that statement is, you have one chance to win, because then they pick up the smart, so you have one chance to win, and he couldn't even win it with that, he was already past that point, he was just, I can't even win, someone else, do, you know, it's like, no, oh, I know, I felt, like, like, and it was like, he didn't, he, the, the reason why he swapped out wasn't because, it was because he was, the reason was because he couldn't win, that was the reason. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I just felt... It just felt sad. It just felt sad, the movie. Anyway, that's gonna... Yeah, that's going to... What the heck? It's 10.25. How did that happen? How does it... How does it get so late so quickly? What in the world? Anyway... Oh, wait, the time's right there as well. I was checking in the tiny wee corner uh, down that way. But anyway, that's going to wrap up the... Yeah, so I absolutely loved Cars 1. Absolutely loved Cars 2. And Cars 3... Totally in theme, totally everything about it, but it just was totally sad storyline in my view. Like, I just found it sad. But anyway, that's going to wrap up this, there we go, video. And yeah, I hope, I'm, I, I really hope they make a Cars 4. I really, really do. I really, really do.
but he has to win. I just, I don't know. I, I don't even know how they can redeem this, eh? I mean, I don't know. I mean, again, this is just my opinion, and I am the odd one out in, in thinking this and, and taking it from it, based on the reviews and that, people, you know, and that. It's not like I thought it was a bad movie or anything. I was just so shocked and surprised at... at, at, at we're actually like what it ended up as like what it became it was like this the what this is what what like I just couldn't believe it anyway yeah so yeah that's gonna wrap it up that's gonna wrap it up and yeah great yeah good work Disney and Pixar on like just the amazing cars movies and that it's an amazing franchise and that yeah the your, your third one just really surprised me with the with the outcome and the end anyway have a wonderful beautiful rest of your day and I'll see you all soon for another video. So yeah, see you later. Goodbye for now. And as we finish, ka <laughs>